a fryer and a dryer and how's it going youtubers and thank you for clicking on my video and in today's video i went out to my local card shop excelsior games and got some single packs i got three sword and shield three rebel clash three darkness ablaze i got six champions path and three vivid voltage and today i'm going to ask the good old question can you weigh out new packs does the heaviest one mean you're getting the biggest banger or does the lightest one and you know without further ado guys if you're excited about this video make sure you smash that like button make sure you've also subscribed and make sure you leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are on this if you think the lighter ones are going to pull or if you think the heavier ones are going to pull and uh without further ado guys i'm going to weigh these packs out i'm going to sticker which one uh you know what they weighed and put them in order from lightest to heaviest and we'll start opening up some packs Let's get to it and we're back and just like that got all the packs weighed out with how much they weigh we might as well just crack straight into it lightest one at the top 22.31 grams and uh i'm gonna open them all and all the rares in each pack i'm gonna put at the top of the vip section i know normally what we do is we only do the big bangers up at the top there but you know for science reasons we're gonna put all of them up there but uh, let's just crack straight into it, okay? I'm going to move these over, and we're going to start it off with, uh, it looks like a Champion's Path at 22.31 grams. This is the lightest pack out of the bunch, which is interesting because, I mean, in Champion's Path, you're guaranteed a hollow, okay? So there's no way, no way that, I mean, unless our luck is that good, that I just pulled, you know, all these singles are a minimum of a hollow okay there's just no way but i guess we will find out today now won't we and move these because they're still in my way and here we go psychic energy kaboo trainer we got a machoke a victini full heal trubbish galarian zigzagoon inca pokeball a reverse fire energy i will take it and a hollow scrafty all right so like i said we'll put him up there at the top of the section and when we do the wrap up they'll be in all order from how we got them next up 22.35 grams sword and shield base set now like i said you know if, if this were you know a, you know a true statement weighing packs you know determines on what you get like i said i mean if this champion's path was on top with a hollow that means this has to be a hollow right <laughs> uh, for some strange reason i don't think that will be correct but let's see we got a leaf energy corvus Gryer, twacky pokemon catcher Larian Meowth, Score Bunny, Sinity, Maricactus, a Pikachu, there we go, OG, a Reverse Hollow Dreadnaw, and a regular rare Nine Tails. So there you go. Myth kind of already busted that a you know regular rare pack weighed more only by what was that four hundredths of a gram so we'll see champions path 22.36 again we already know there's a hollow in here okay so i i think really i think it boils down to this is from what i'm getting from when i was weighing these champions path you might be able to weigh just because every pack that you get guarantees you a hollow okay so on average i would assume that a pack of champions path is roughly in the mid 22.3 grams so if you you know you got the full art you know charizard which is fully holographic it's got textured you know it's probably going to weigh in my opinion the whole pack probably mid you know 22.5s and here we go a reverse hollow absol and a professor's research hollow also forgot to move that nine tails over so we're gonna move that nine tails over and put the professor's research hollow right there continuing down the line again another champion's path 22.38 like i said 
Most of these champions path were all in the mid to upper um, point threes of the grams. But uh, again, there was one that was in the fours. So maybe that one is our V card or something like that. But I also have a theory on that as well that I think uh, lighter packs contain V cards. Now, the reasoning that I think that is is because a ho regular hollow, I believe, weighs more than a V card just because the V cards actually don't have as much hollow as this whole picture would for say so honestly you know i i think they kind of mixed it up with those v cards and there it is like i said the Dara Luden v card weighing just as much as a hollow i think proving my point because really the only thing hollow is his eye right there and that's really it i mean it's got a sheen on it but i you know but, oh, they're looting the card. I don't think I have this one for the Champions Pass set, so we'll put that up there. But that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you can technically weigh them. 22.39. Champions Path. Here we go. But again, I don't think it's, you know, like the old schools. Because the old schools, you know, all you had were regular rares or hollows. So that's why I think, you know, back in those days, weighing them was slightly different just because your rare cards all weighed the same and your non-rares all weighed the same. Now you got rares like Amazing Rares that weigh different. You got, um, like I said, the V cards. And then I think the V maxes are almost the same weight as a rainbow or a full art. So it's really hard, I think, to determine exactly what you're getting. I mean, yes, you can determine... If you are going to pull a, and there we go, we get a Machoke, followed by his evolution, Machamp, in a hollow form. Put that up at the top. But, um, yeah, I, I think it all depends on the set also, because um, 22.41, Sword and Shield base set. Uh, I've weighed out a whole booster box of Rebel Clash in the past off camera at a friend's house. Just to, you know, prove this point as well. And uh, those packs weigh significantly more than any other set that came out in 2020. Like, the non-hollow packs are all in the mid fives. And then, like, if you're getting something good, it's a, it's a high seven. I even had one that was an eight. That was, you know, the gold card. So I think Rebel Clash can be weighed out if you really wanted to, just because the packs for some reason just weigh different. But again, that could be wrong just because again, the V cards weigh less than a hollow. And there it is again, the Delmas V card, weighing in at exactly the same as a hollow. And again, see, the really the only thing hollow is very thin, thin film. That's it. Where all of the other hollows such as the Machamp that we pulled before, that's a very thick hollow. Even though it's only for the background of the one picture, still thick. 22.43 Champion's Path. This has got to be close to one of the last of the Champion's Path, the heaviest one. Let's see if we can pull a full art from this, if it's the heaviest one. Oh, forgot you guys' code card. So there's that one for the Sword and Shield base set. Here's this one for the Champion's Path. Drop it down in the comments what you guys are getting with these codes virtually. I mean, I know people are snagging them because when I go check them after a couple days, people are grabbing them. But you guys are not leaving it in the comments what you guys are pulling virtually. Come on, man. Don't forget your homie's comment section. Light it up. Then we got a full heal. Trubbish. Galarian Zigzagoon. Inca. A reverse hollow Arbok. And... A hollow Hatterene. Again, weighing more than the V cards. See what I'm saying? Now, very interesting. Uh, this wrap-up is going to be very interesting. 22.45 grams. Vivid voltage. Let's get it. Now, I also, at, at the same friend's house, weighed a box of vivid voltage. Now, this one is also a really hard set in my opinion to weigh the good packs because 
when we weighed them, the heavy, heavy packs were double banger packs, ones that had an amazing rare followed by some sort of hollow or full art. Um, but they were also weighing as much as rainbow rare. Like we pulled a rainbow rare and a gold card from that booster box weighing in as much as a booster pack that had an amazing rare and I think a hollow. So that one's going to be tough too. And a regular rare two cannon. Now the other thing that I think could be different is the foil themselves. Um, for instance, the Champion's Path ones, speaking of which, 22.45 champion's path this plastic feels different from this plastic this plastic's got a more crinkly more rigid feel where this one's more soft and rubbery if that if that makes any sense as well as like this one way easier to open down the seam like i like i like to open them so again you got glue to worry about you know you know the packaging that they go in i think it's a little harder nowadays to weigh them. I think the answer to the question, which, you know, just, you know, we'll figure it out at the end, but I think it's going to be a yes. I think you can weigh out packs, but I don't necessarily think it determines what you get in the pack, for instance, you know, because like I said, we're pulling regular rares that are weighing the same as hollows and V cards weighing the same as hollows. And there it is, another hollow scrafty. See, that one made 2.4. That was a medium pack for us. And we pulled that in the lightest pack. You know what I'm saying? See, like, this is interesting, interesting science right here. Interesting science. And 22.46 grams. Vivid voltage. Let's get it. Now we really, I mean, a V card, we pulled two V cards. We haven't pulled anything epic. You know, we haven't pulled, you know, a V max, a rainbow rare or a gold card, let alone who knows if even one of those is in the packs. Cause like I said, these were all singles walked into Excelsior games and Maynard and they have a whole shelf filled with all different sun and moon and sword and shield uh, packs that you can go up and just buy singles. Well, a like a medium-sized section of Pokemon cards as well. Go give them a, a you know a check out if you're near Maine or Massachusetts. And a Hollow Electrode. All right, all right. There we go. Hitting it off with Hollows after Hollow after Hollow. So I mean, I guess you know, not too bad of some single packs. I mean, so far we've only gotten what one two regular rares the rest have been hollows and above so far 22.48 i would say that's pretty good for some singles just randomly grabbing them off the shelf and weighing them i mean i was very skeptic right from the start when we pulled a hollow being the lightest pack but i mean we almost did it we almost got a hollow in every pack so far and here we go and we got a leaf energy a Dusclops, Electric, Charmeleon, Woobat, Taylor, Charmander, a Wooper, Valerian Meowth, a Reverse Hollow Rapalock, and a Car Soul V Car. There we go, pulling a V Car now. I think uh, hopefully now we start seeing just V's and above. No more hollows at this point because we're almost about three quarters of the way through the weighed packs here. 22.49 grams, sword and shield, base set. Let's go. And four from the back to the front. And here we go. We got a fighting energy, a drizzle, an evolution incense, a slazzle, a glaring meowth, a sizzlepede, wooloo, grokey, swobble, a reverse hollow scorpion, and 
a regular rare grab lock right after i said hopefully we only get v's and above we pull a hollow up here on some of the top hitters but i think that was our last in the 0.4 section now these technically are the big hitters we got a five six a five eight another five eight five nine six one and a six four so let's continue on rebel clash five six 22 and a half grams here we go code card over there for you guys to hopefully redeem after we get something epic hopefully and we got a psychic energy a palatone capture energy chatut a snover pindov a glaring darumaka hatinina a scyther a reverse hollow zassian there we go that's a nice uh, reverse hollow and a hollow vicavolt all right all right pulling hollow still up here in the upper five sections of the packs very interesting very interesting 22.58 grams darkness ablaze Yeet. and we'll put that over there move these to the front here we go dark energy a yursing poltergeist glimwood tangle gowlet skitty adino jigglypuff dunsparce a reverse hollow big parasol and a hollow dracovish all right again pulling more hollows in the upper 22.5 grams of pokemon packs that's uh actually kind of surprising me at this point very surprising here we go 22.58 darkness ablaze let's get it So far, nothing, nothing too crazy. We only pulled like what three, four V cards so far. Still no V maxes, no rainbow rares. But again, like I said, these are single packs, so no guarantees or anything. Outlet, Vanilla type, Trapinch, and Ghost Hollow Torchic, and there it is, a Charizard V max. This is it. Out of any of the cards basically in Rebel Clash, this is what you want to pull. This is actually my second one when I actually laid out the Rebel Clash booster pack with my buddy. He actually opened up the pack with the you know, Charizard V-Max. So this one you know, definitely looking good left to right on the camera. That bottom's looking really good. I mean, I think of course it looks like Pinky Lines, but this is looking very good for a grading card that is for sure man let me uh let me move all of these these cards down the line so we have some room here and there it is our first v max card there's that for you moving right along 22.59 grams rebel clash Coming down to the final three packs here. Hopefully these three being the biggest are the biggest hitters. And so far we did just pull our first VMAX. And it's a Charizard too. Alright, here we go. Fire Energy. Bronzong. Metapod. Tool Scraper. A Barbotch. Scovet. Apollon. Tampole, Trubbish, a Reverse Hollow Skunk Tank, and 
a regular rare Alcremi. Very interesting. Pulling regular rares. Like I said, it is Rebel Clash, which they they those packs tend to be heavier for some reason. Like I said, it could be the foil might be longer. Who knows? And as we say that, their second heaviest pack, 22.61 grams. Rebel Clash. Let's see what we get. All right. Move these four from the back to the front. And we got a Fighting Energy. Dracowoke. Lampant. Galarmine. Nosepass. Wingull. Coughing. Bronzor. Tuxel. A Reverse Hollow Sandigast. And another regular rare Scizor. See what I mean? The Rebel Clash fool you. Uh, they, they fool you if at least you're weighing them in a giant mix like this. I think we'll continue the Way series. 22.64. But I think from here on out, instead of mixing them in, I think they're going to be themed from here on out. Maybe we'll go buy a booster box of uh, each one. Weigh them out. You know, maybe weigh out half the booster box each. Release four videos. I don't know. Drop it down in the comments if that's what you guys think I should do. If you think I should go out, buy four booster boxes, one of each set that came out last year, and weigh out half the box and see if it if that, you know, if we can get a consistent rare to VMAX or something like that from left to right. And for our last pack, we got a Tetasaurus, Panseer, Morlo. Wishy Washy, Cufant, a Reverse Hollow Tyranitar, and a regular rare Vanilla Ox. Wow. Uh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. That's all I have to say right now. Theme word of this video interesting. Drop it down in the comments. Interesting. <laughs> and with that, I'll see you guys in the wrap-up, which should be a very interesting and scientific wrap-up. See you in two seconds. And welcome back. Just like that. Got the rare ones all sleeved up. The regular rares not sleeved up. And uh, let's answer the question. In 2021, can you still weigh out the newer packs such as sword and shield base set all the way to vivid voltage and my answer well i'll give it to you after we take a look i mean from the lightest pack to the heaviest pack this is the order of the wrap up so in our lightest pack we got a hollow scrafty which right off the rip i, I was kind of skeptical because a hollow right off the rip would mean that the rest of these should have been technically hollows. But they weren't. Because right after that light pack, we pulled a regular rare nine tails. Okay. Going down the line, Professor's Research Hollow, Darylude in V card, a Machamp, a Delmus V, a Hatterene, a two cannon regular rare now this is where i got kind of thrown off because i was pretty much determined at this point okay maybe we are getting only hollows after we pulled this one maybe i pulled god packs out of the single shelf but nope then two cannon came along and then scrafty hollow again many many packs later which again is very interesting because we pulled the Scrafty Hollow out of the lightest pack in the bunch. So, very, very interesting. Pulled the Hollow Electrode next. We put the Core Soul, the, sorry, the Colossal V. And then we got thrown off again by a Grap Lock. Because again, at this point, when we pulled this Colossal V at such, you know, the weight that it was, I uh, assumed from this point on, hollows and above, V cards and above. But nope, we go ahead and pull the regular rare right off the rip. And then 
the Vicavolt Hollow, the Dracovish Hollow, the Charizard V Max, which is our biggest hitter out of all the packs, but wasn't even the heaviest. It was actually like third or fourth heaviest in the bunch, which is again very interesting to me. Very, very interesting to me. And then right after that, it was nothing but regular rares as our three, I mean, yeah, as our three heaviest packs. El Creamy, a Scizor, and a Vanilla Ux as the heaviest packs. Now this threw me for a loop, but again, Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash, and a Darkness Ablaze was the heaviest one. Now I said earlier, Rebel Clash, even though it has regular rares, regular rares for some reason seem to be heavy, but I think it's because the packs themselves are heavy. So my answer based on this lineup that we got right here of can you weigh out Pokemon cards in 2020 slash 2021 slash modern sets? My answer is I'm still inconclusive, guys. I mean, it, it started off as a pattern of hollow, 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 V cards, then hollows. Which again, when I explained, would make sense that we got some V cards mixed in with the hollows. Because the V cards actually weigh the same, if not less, than the hollow. Because again, there's not much hollow on this. There's a very thin film behind the printing to give you that shine. But the thickest hollow is right there in all their eyes. Okay? Where this one, it's got... The very thick old school, I don't know if you can see on this camera, line printed, you know, hollow, which is very heavy. You know, this is old school techniques. So this card weighs lighter than this card just because this is using an old school technique that's heavier, you know? So it's very, I don't know where this was, so I'm just going to put them down. So in my mind, the way that we did it today, I'd have to say it's inconclusive. I think we'll continue the series, guys, on... Can you weigh out packs? But this time, I think we're going to go buy a booster box of something. I don't know. This weekend, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go to the card store, see what booster boxes they have, and uh, check my you know my card collection, see what I need first off, and uh, go from there. Because I honestly think when you're weighing them out like this with all the sets side by side, your, your answer is inconclusive. You can't. You know, if somebody threw at you 100 packs, 25 Sword and Shield, 25 Rebel Clash, 25 Darkness Ablaze, 25, you know, Vivid Voltage, I, you, you'd you get the same results. I think you'd get Hollows, Vs, Vmaxes, regular rares at the top, you'd go everywhere. But I think if you were to narrow it down to just the theme set, so if you weighed out a whole box of Sword and Shield, then I think you'd get a consistent pattern from start to finish of... You know, some regular rares and some hollows and some V cards and some V maxes and some rainbows and some full arts. But I don't know. Enough blabbing on and on. Right now, answer is can you weigh out packs 2020 and 2021 with newer and modern sets? Inconclusive right now. But like I said, we'll go get a booster box. We'll do this again. So make sure, guys, that you are subscribed notifications turned on so you know when that happens. If you like this video, guys, make sure you smash that like button and also. Leave a comment if you you know agree with any of this that I've said. If you agree that you know our results here are inconclusive, we got to do this based on set, not by sets plural. So with that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.